Hey everyone, Adam here. So just wanted to show you a project that I'm currently working on and this is basically, uh, I'm gonna guess maybe seven years accumulation of chords and just electronic junk. Now, having a fair amount of electronics, uh, you tend to accumulate this stuff and me thinking that I may use some of this stuff in the future, I would just put it in this box and I would just save it in case, you know, I ever needed it. Now, I know some people that are into uh, to minimalism would just chuck everything that they're not using. I am going to take a much more balanced approach because I do recognize that I may want a couple of these things in the future. For example, um, I had a lapel mic that I've been saving on to for uh, two years and I just bought a new video camera to do these videos and lo and behold the lapel mic that I'm currently using right now came in very very handy. So I'm not opposed to holding on to stuff it's just that there is always a cost when you are holding on to stuff and one of the costs that I found out when I was holding on to all this electronic stuff is just eventually this box that I have here started overflowing. So I've made a pact that I cannot go uh, any more, I cannot save any more than that th th this box can handle. So, and a lot of stuff that I have are adapters, cables, and stuff like that, that, that may come in handy. So again, I recognize that uh, a true minimalist would just tell me that I was crazy for saving half of this stuff, but um, I do find that I may have a use for it in the future, and the thing is I don't want to rebuy it, and honestly this doesn't take up that much space. Uh, space is a premium in New York City, but again this fits in my closet. I'm okay with this. So let me just explain what I'm doing. One of the issues that I found is that if you do save this stuff, you forget the stuff that you have, right? Like I would put something in this box and then uh, I would be like, oh, well, I wonder if I have such and such. And I'd be like, oh, no, 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 I don't think I have one of those. And then I would go and order it off Amazon and then found out that I did have it all along. So one, that would be an argument for chucking all of this stuff because I'm just going to rebuy it, right? So in order to not rebuy it, um, I feel that you actually have to categorize or organize things. So one of the projects that I'm doing this time around is that I've neatly labeled what I want to save, right? So this is called bag zero one. And uh, I wrote it over here on this little notepad here. So eventually uh, I'm going to actually put this in like a Google sp uh, spreadsheet. And then I can just do a quick search and find out if I have the item that I think that I may need in the future and it will tell me exactly where it is located. So basically I am itemizing or creating an inventory of all of this stuff and I talked it over with my wife. We actually uh, want to do that with all of our stuff that we put in storage because again um, you find that you forget that you even have it. And if you forget that you have it, what's the point of holding on to it? And certain things I want to hold on. So like for example, uh, um, we have a whole bunch of extra glasses. I'm hesitant to throw them out because we do break them every once in a while. Uh, either my, uh, hopefully my son's not dropping them, but my son could drop them, I could drop them, they could get tripped in the dishwasher, and then we dispose of them. And it's like, well, I want it, I want uh, another one, but I don't want to have to buy a whole set. So that would come out of storage. So that's just one example of something that I may want to save just because I realize that it's going to get broken. Anyway back to the task at hand. So I basically went through this box and I figured out what I wanted to save and what I didn't and I itemized everything and as I said this will all be typed up uh, in some kind of inventory management uh, software or, or perhaps just a Google spreadsheet uh, document. And this is the start of what my wife and I are going to do. Uh, I would like to, it'll probably take like a year, maybe a year and a half to kind of itemize everything. A lot of it depends if we move, uh, you know, we're thinking about uh, uh, possibly moving in the next couple of years, uh, still stay in New York City, perhaps get a slightly bigger place, I don't know. But if we do move, this will be part of that project to kind of start new. So. All of this stuff is going to go. This is going to be recycled um, uh, responsibly. We'll probably drop it off at Best Buy. But you know, just for example, like I have 
I, so the, this this headphone cord, because I was using this a lot for video editing like uh, six, seven years ago for some of my other projects. Um, I have, I accumulated seven of them, seven of the exact same cord. That is just ridiculous. So I basically pared it down to two uh, uh, just in case I need um, uh, to uh, uh, create like a, an extension for my headphones or whatever. But uh, essentially that's what I've done. I've gone through this entire box, I've pared down everything, and then I've created a nice spreadsheet. So, um, you know, for example, the router, right? Like this is a really, really good router. I don't really want to get rid of it because if I go to a place that doesn't have Fios, uh, I want to use this router because it's a very good router and I've got it configured the way that I want. Currently I'm not using it just because I'm on Fios and it wasn't compatible with Fios, but I still, I don't want to have to rebuy it, and I really, really like this router, so it's worth it for me at the time being to to keep a hold on it, right? So um, basically, uh, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw everything in the box and show you what it looks like all organized. All right, so this is it in the box. Um, everything condenses nicely, and again, as I was saying, like everything. Uh, again, imagine me trying to stuff all this extra stuff that I put over here into this box. It was practically overflowing. You can see I've pared this down much, much more. And honestly, I feel much uh, uh, happier about it. I mean, it would be awesome if I could get rid of the entire box, like I've, I've said, but there are a lot of things that I potentially could see using in the future. And again, this is another example of uh, potentially your first steps with trying to simplify your life, right? Go through a box like this. Look, I just condensed this, I just probably got rid of 50% of the items in this box. Start there. Put this box in the closet. If you haven't used it in another year, then maybe think about get rid of it. Or some people say six months. Anyway, you need a starting point. And for me, this is my starting point. And um, what I really like about this idea too is, like I said, itemizing everything so that way uh, I can quickly look and find out what I have and I've made you know nice descriptions. I'll show you that when I actually get that uploaded into the computer. Uh, right now I haven't done that. But And the other nice thing is it encourages you to actually purge more and really think about what you want to save because uh, halfway through this project I was like, oh my God, I am just so sick of writing all of this crap down. So, uh, so that's another advantage when you start itemizing this stuff, like I've done here, is it makes you really, really think, do I really want to write this down because this is taking way too long. So this whole project from start to finish probably took a good solid two hours, uh, well worth the time. And again, um, uh, you know, the less, the more stuff you can purge, the more stuff you don't, uh, the less stuff you have to write down, the less stuff you have to write down, the faster this whole thing or this project would be. Anyway, this is just an example uh, of me um, starting to condense stuff, starting to itemize stuff, and starting to really focus in and trying to simplify a lot of the stuff that I do. So hopefully someone found this helpful. Uh, if not, eh, hopefully you at least enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, eh, you know, uh, give it a thumbs down or whatever. Anyway, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Really, seriously, give it a thumbs up. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, be sure to check me out next time.